I welcome back in this lesson we are going to do the leg of the table so let's do one leg first so my plan is to do a single leg then we are going to duplicate it we are going to see how we can duplicate it and at the same time we can mirror it because you can see the leg leg are not again exactly straight like 100% 90 degree it's it's kind of like going outside a little bit from this angle you can see this angle here so this leg are going this side this leg is going this side so we are going to do that so let's do one leg first so i'm going to do this leg and again it's a way it's a cube single cube and it's going uh, it's becoming narrow towards the bottom here so we are going to start from a cube so let's start from the cube here and this is my cube here again in the origin area now i can move this uh, this table here i just uh, press w to bring this move tool or you can click here to get the move tool then just hold this up arrow key which is the green axis just move it towards the top let's say this grid is our floor or ground and let's move it okay this is my cube which will be the leg then let's again go to the poly cube inputs here and changing this height so i'm selecting this height here again middle mouse drag on the free on the blank area anywhere so if you don't know anything about my basics like uh, this camera navigation things i'm doing right now i'm just holding alt and left mouse drag to tumble the view okay hold alt and left mouse drag to tumble and hold alt and middle mouse drag to pan like this and hold alt and right mouse drag to zoom in zoom out so these three are the basic navigation and if you press space bar you can see other views as well so we are working in prospective view but we have top front and side view as well to look at your object uh, from different perspective different um, angle okay so again space bar to maximize a view just put your cursor on that view and hit space bar to maximize it okay so quick basics so let's go and change this width and depth now i want to change this width and depth at the same time so i can do that by holding selecting both both of them by just hold control and click here to select multiple items like this then if i middle mouse drag it's going to change both of them exactly at the same time with exact value okay so now i'm ready but you can see there's a gap so let me go to side or front view like this let's say the side view okay uh, let's say the front view let's go to front view you can see the gap now i'm going to use this move tool to position the leg like this okay let's select you can drag like this to select both of them as you can see inside my drag area both of the object are there so then i can just move them okay okay again hit space bar again hit space bar to maximize this and you can see it's this side but from this angle it's still in the middle of this uh, table we we need to put it here somewhere let's check the image okay i think uh, this gap is less than this gap so this table is like it should be like this this gap is less than this gap and still it's very thick so go to inputs again select select hold control click the mouse drag again hold control while you are dragging the middle mouse to you know, get the more controlled effect okay now i want that narrow towards the bottom thing so i can do that by easily just go to vertex mode or face mode go to vertex mode and drag and select all these vertex here okay then go to scale tool uh, for scale tool you can press r just scale from the middle here 
so that you can uh, scale from every axis and it's narrowing towards the bottom from every angle okay so like this let's check our image okay it seems to me a little bit still kind of i think let's move and if you check the leg it's not a hundred percent straight it's going outside from the table so we can move from this axis like this like this so there's a slight angle like this okay so once we have done this basic thing then we can again do the same thing Control z to undo I'll do the same thing to the edges so just select every edge here you don't have to select every edge all the time let's say i don't want the inside face inside edges if you press 4 or you if you just go to setting and wireframe mode you can see I don't need these edges to be beveled okay so I can just deselect them by holding control and drag I can deselect them but I deselected these things as well so again hold shift and drag to add them so now you can see I don't have these edges selected okay so or you can just deselect everything and drag like this don't include those top things like this so all the time you don't need to bevel every edge okay so again go to shading and smooth shade all which is short the shortcut is 5 again go to edit and bevel so always try to give the same number here so it's not necessary but visually it should look close uh, it shouldn't be like this is this thick and this is this thick. It's gonna you can do that. There's no rules for that, but I think that's um, Because I if I check the image it seems like Having a same softness So let's check the amount here. So go to bevel inputs It has four, uh, 0 0.4 value so we can add that again um, you don't have to be so exact like this so perfect you can put any value so let's go to point 0.4 i'm just trying to give a same number here but as you can see still i'm going to get a very big bevels although i have put a same value so i think it's because of the scale or the size thing so let's do it manually okay like this and let's put some segments again don't put unnecessary too much numbers because when you model you should always do optimized model so that you can you know create a very complex scene without using your ram too much okay so i have done one leg now it's time to duplicate it to the other side okay so let's duplicate it first uh, to this side sorry to this side which is my z axis so just select it go to edit and duplicate from here you can see the shortcut is control d so duplicate it when you duplicate an object it's there you can just move like this but i'm not moving it's duplicated there and i'm going to flip to this side i can do that by just changing this pivot to the center of the origin so I am my whole model is at the center so I can do that by just pressing ctrl G ctrl G when you press ctrl G it's inside a group I'll explain that later but you don't have to know right now so just press ctrl G or you can do one thing you can press D uh, when you press D it's in pivot mode then you can just turn on this option which is the snap to grid turn on this and then just grab this from the middle to here to the origin okay then just press d again to settle there and turn up this so you can do this as well without pressing ctrl g so now the object pivot is here now i can go to here i want to flip this to this side which is the minus z axis this is the z axis whole axis but from the origin to the uh, arrow blue side the side is indicating the blue 
arrow this is the plus g axis and this is the minus value so the whole thing is g axis but this is plus value this is minus value like that this is my plus y the bottom is minus y so now i'm going to put scale g minus 1 now it's 1 i'm going to put minus 1 so it's gonna flip it so it's a trick just uh, make sure your pivot is at the center and when you flip when you put minus one what it does let me show you let me undo it when you scale it from this pivot like you're scaling you can see that value when i scale to this side it will exactly reach this side at that same value here it was one to the opposite it was it is minus one if the pivot is at the center okay just make sure that minus one then i can do that select both of them okay this time i'm pressing ctrl g to group them and when you group the pivot will automatically come here then i'm going to duplicate it by just duplicating here and this time i'm going to scale in minus x so in x axis minus one okay you can see one leg then we can duplicate it and mirror it when you minus it's also mirroring it you can see the leg is mirroring as well it's not just duplicating it it's mirroring it okay so in the next lesson we are going to complete the table by doing this supporting thing here so yeah see you there